win or lose, I still love them a whole lot. Curling now enters the Sports Weekend Spotlight. Carol, so wonderful to see you. Um, and good evening to you. Thank you, Devin, and thank you for having me on, and Colleen, uh, and I know that Joe has to leave, so I do want to acknowledge her presence and uh, just say a couple of things. She's one um, beautiful mama there, and boy, does she have a cute little guy. Um, you're lucky. Enjoy every moment of it. True. And the other thing is, I know that she's a healthcare worker, and that uh, is close to my heart, so... Kudos to you. That's all I'm going to say. Um, we've really needed you this past couple of years, and uh, you've done a damn fine job. So, mm -hmm. thanks, proud Laura. of you. I actually. And I just... by the way, uh, before these other two turkeys take over, you're not bad at this job. So you know, keep it up. <laughs> thanks so much, Carol. I just, I actually, feel a little, I wanted to stick on and just say hi to you. Um, Given that you're a former nurse, I feel like we've always had such a good relationship over the years. I've known you for like the last decade now. And uh, yes, that was been Mrs. Jones to me. I actually didn't know your first name was Carol. So actually, um, Mrs. Jones was my mother in law. Oh. And actually, um, there's another Mrs. Jones. No, Miss Jones. She's actually, yeah, Colleen. Um, my, uh, I used to tell that to my friends. Mrs. Jones was my mother-in-law. I'm Carol. I'm well, sorry. Me. After 10 years, I've been calling you the wrong name. So, Carol, great to meet you. Um, I just wanted to wish you all the best if you watch Jennifer and her team. Um, I know we all can't wait to take it in. And you're, If there was like a definition in the dictionary of a perfect curling mom, perfect family supporter, it, it would be you. You just oh, thank you. talk to you and you're so wonderful. And the, the former nurse in you, the empathy, the love you have for your daughter, for the team, um, it's just phenomenal. And, and again, if Canada's watching, you want to be like Carol. <laughs> <laughs> well, just a, a little bit of a joke aside, I knew this was happening tonight, of course, and uh, I had to pick up the children from school um, and they both had gymnastics. So literally uh, 25 minutes ago, I walked in the door with the youngest. The oldest one is still there till 8.30. Uh, fortunately, Grandpa Lang is picking her up. But I came in the door, first words out of her mouth, Grandma, I'm hungry. I said, uh, yeah, I know you are, honey, because you are every 20 minutes. You'll know. And uh, so I became a grandma tonight and I said, craft dinner is it. So craft dinner. <laughs> Oh, Carol, I applaud you. That is wonderful. We got to get across the street. We need to go do our sound check. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very, fun. very much. I, it it's means a lot for me. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Okay, Carol. That is so beautiful, Carol. And um, healthcare workers across the country, of course, you as an oncology work nurse all those yes. years. Definitely. And can I tell you, as a fellow grandma in the grandma club with you, Carol? Uh, how I'm missing my little Nene back in Halifax. Uh, it's they, they bring so much joy that you never well, expect. So. It's, it, I, I feel really quite truly blessed that I've been able to, um, by, the, by the scenario of helping Jen and Brent through their curling and their lives otherwise, uh, I've been able to do that. And I feel very fortunate that I have. I have a specific special bond with my little granddaughters here, and uh, I, I have curling to thank for that. So <laughs> I'm so okay. That's a really good point <laughs> that your daughter's a two time Olympia. Yeah. How does that feel? That then you get to have this front row it's, seat and this uh, pivotal role in her success still all these years. Yeah, it's it's pretty incredible. Um, I, I don't even, I'm speechless sometimes. As I say, I'm fortunate, touch wood. Um, my health has been uh, respectable. So I've been able to to carry on and dash around and drive down the 400 multitudes of times so I, and survive. So I feel pretty good. But in terms of, of Jen and her team, of course, being two-time Olympians, uh, Jocelyn, her first kick, it's, mind-blowing to me i uh i feel very we feel very lucky that her dad was around for our first trip 
uh, because that was pretty special for him and for her. So to do this again, I think somehow he's circulating up there. Yeah. Well, I'm sure <laughs> he's circulating watching. right back there because he would always perch himself directly. I don't remember you two ever sitting together, but he was always bam wherever behind because he coached her all those years at the Scotties too. Well, that's right. He he loved to be behind the sheet, and I do have to tell you a little side story about Sophie when we went there. Uh, we had, you know, obviously purchased tickets and, and we had our tickets, but every game you were in a different seat. Like it was not, you didn't buy row two, sec, you know, seat 10. You were wherever. Um, so Cheryl Laws and I uh, kind of got attached at the hip and no matter where she was sitting, I had to sit beside her. That was our good luck charm. But my husband had to sit directly behind the sheet. So very first game, we met Yulia, a little Russian girl, beautiful girl. And she says, I'll look after you. So she'd wheel him behind it, <laughs> wheel him behind that sheet. And every game after that, she, she just took over and uh, was amazing. But he liked that and he liked his little stopwatch. Oh yes. So, yeah, he just <laughs> he was known for that, but but you know what he he did um I have to admit uh, under tense moments when there's a draw to the forefoot release she's fine. Don't worry. Oh, she's nice. There. He knew it. Oh, well, he's right. He's right there for the <laughs> for their game against the garlic girls. How will you and the girls um be watching the games? Will you well, go upside down? It's a little bit tricky um this per this week only because like the kids go to school and we leave home here at their home at 7 35 or 7 40 and if we're really pushing it 7 45 because they have to be at school for 8 15 and it's a half hour run so um i'll watch the first end or so tomorrow, I'll dash off, drop them off at school, come home and watch the end. But I've PVR'd everything. Good. Carol, grandma Good. rules happen, Jury. When mom's away, grandma rules. You can keep the girls home from school. Don't oh, you? Okay. 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 Thank yeah. you, Pauline. Thank I'll relay you. that message. These are grandma rules happening. I, mean, <laughs> I know them well. Hey, Carol, uh, you mentioned uh, Cheryl Laws yes. and, and, the, and the relationship you two have forged, Thelma yes. and Louise. Yes. Um, how are you guys on this journey together? Such a different time around. What are you doing to, to keep up to date and the messages and the calls? And what? You, how are you keeping in time? Well, we certainly text a fair bit and she lives close to where I live. So... Um, when restrictions are such that we feel comfortable visiting, uh, I have dropped by, we have lunch, we, we discuss the and solve a few of the problems of the world, and there are many. Um, and we have a nice lunch, and uh, they're, they're real good lunches, Devin. You should drop in someday. Grilled cheese sandwiches. Uh, right on. Um, but we do keep in close touch. Um, mainly because well our daughters are close and they're working and they're or they're working at their game i have to say i've they've really worked hard this last well even through covid doing their best to try and keep their skill level up and their whatever and keep healthy mm -hmm. i mean that in itself and for me um touch wood on everything i've I've been able to keep totally healthy and COVID free. So I, I try and follow the rules and so does Cheryl. And sometimes we've met on the doorstep and I've thrown her something and she throws me something back and then I go home and then we, and so then she'll text me and I start to text her. And you know, when you text and you want to say yes or no, it's fine. But if you want to tell a story, I'll just phone her so that <laughs> so Yay, then we phone. Amen to that. Yeah, and then we phone. Uh, she's a special friend, uh, a beautiful lady, and uh, she's also a storm, enormously proud of her daughter and the team. So, do, do, do you see the message at the bottom, Heather? Saying oh, I will do the play-by-play -play on the phone for you, Mom. God bless you, my girl. <laughs> 
Yeah, and and my and my daughter Heather, who just sent the note, she uh, uh, she's taken a couple of days off work. She's worked around when the girls are playing, and they work from home. Her and her husband, and so they're from home, but they're still working. So she's taken a couple of days off just to purely enjoy watching the game. Um, but we communicate at least daily, if not a couple of times a day, particularly when curling's on. So, oh, um, you know, like- I love your Team Canada outfit, by the way. Oh, yeah. Well, Lululemon saw me yesterday, so <laughs> this is it. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. Anyway, I had to have something, you know. You do. So getting, getting ready and um, yeah, it's very exciting. A little bit nervous, but you know what? I'm out of control of that, and um, they play their game. I want them to enjoy every single moment. Yeah. Um, and, Carol, uh, oh, yeah. Sorry to break up your thought, but uh, you probably have 1,000 Jennifer Jones Team Canada jackets in her closet. You Quite should a few, just. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Quite a few. <laughs> you grab a lot. And then the. <laughs> The thing is, of course, and they have Jones on them. You know what it's like. They have Jones on the back. So right. I, I, I have a hard time parting. So um, there, you, there you go. But um, no, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty spectacular. And to me, it's an enormous achievement for that team to be there. And uh, so I just want them to soak it all up. And, and honest to God, win or lose, I still love them a whole lot. So Outstanding. Carol, uh, before we let you go, we're going to meet the team. They're going to talk a little bit about themselves, and we'll get okay. one final thought from you. Let's take a look. Okay. I feel like time is almost stood still, and we just get to experience all of these incredible things, and I pinch myself because I feel like we're so lucky, and it's just such a privilege, and we get to go to the Olympics and enjoy the experience, and it's always been about pushing the limits and seeing what we could do and experiencing it with my team that's made everything so worthwhile. If I didn't throw one more rock after today, like if I look back and think how lucky I am to have won a world championship, gone to the world juniors, and now three Olympics and 12 years with Jennifer and Dawn, like that's really, really special. They've been through a lot with me. I feel like we're, we're a family. So, and now with Jocelyn, she's my roommate. She lives with me. Like to do this with my family is, is so cool. We just put a lot of work into, into that team aspect and having each other's back no matter what. And I think belief is kind of the, the main thing. The whole week we, we believed that we would be standing on the podium and, and that just, gave us so much energy. Experience, it, it definitely doesn't hurt you. Um, you know, if it, if, if it brings value, maybe, maybe not. But I, I think in my perspective, um, I would definitely say the experience will help me um, just kind of be in a good place during the Olympics. I'm so thankful for curling. It's given me so many amazing life experiences and sport experiences. And I met my husband, I have a beautiful family. So I'm, I feel very blessed. I was always just so emotional watching athletes stand on the podium. So seeing them sing their national anthem for something that they did, because you know there's a story behind how that athlete got there and there's a definite journey that they've had to go through and some obstacles they've had to overcome. So I just, I, that part of the Olympics is what makes it so special for me. That brings tears to my eyes. <laughs> um, yeah, and you know, when we when we were in Sochi, I remember the girls saying, you know, we're going to soak it up and we're going to enjoy every moment that we're there. Something, enjoy something special every day that we're there. And I think that's their attitude this time. And hopefully it all works out. And keeping my fingers crossed. Mm -hmm.